Okay, so if you're just now opening DaVinci Resolve for the first time ever, you probably see something that looks a lot like this, or this, or this, but without the clips, right? Before you mess with any of these things, and if you plan to mess with these things, I highly recommend that you check out some other videos on the channel because I have more than a hundred videos here that are all about helping you get better at using DaVinci Resolve. But before you go watch any of those, you need to come up to your top left corner, click on DaVinci Resolve, go to Preferences, and then once you're there, you're going to want to go from System over to User, and then go to Project, Save, and Load, and then find save settings, turn on live save and project backups, perform backups every however often you want it to, I'm gonna say five minutes, because in the past I have lost a significant amount of time and work due to me not knowing that Resolve doesn't auto save by default. So knowing that is a huge boon and hopefully you won't lose hours of editing now due to a crash. You'll just lose maximum five minutes. Once you have all this done, go ahead and hit save, and you're ready to edit. It isn't going to automatically save this. You have to do the first one yourself. And if you don't, then you're out of luck if you get a crash or a power outage or whatever else happens. So you're going to want to go Control S or Command S on the Mac. Name your project. We'll call this one Destroyed Bark. Hit save, and now every five minutes, Resolve will make an autosave of your project when before it wouldn't have. Go do that in your Resolve, make your edit, have a blast, and if you get stuck, you know where to come for help. I'm Garrett Harding, and I'll see you tomorrow.